Escaping the volatile situation in Libya, tens of thousands of people have crossed over the eastern border into Egypt in the past few days. The Saloum crossing was the scene of a mass exodus as mostly Egyptian families headed back to their native country. Hani Abdel Nabi was working as a laborer in Benghazi, Libya, up until a few days ago. The conditions are unstable. You have gunfire and insults and the worst kind of abuse. We saw death with our own eyes. We've been fired upon and we don't know from where. Thank God we've arrived here safely. Suitcases bursting at the seams, wheelbarrows and other laborer tools, basic amenities like mattresses and clothes, and prized possessions like washers and refrigerators were dragged into Egypt. Many of those fleeing were seeking safety after encountering both the civil conflict in Libya and a kind of xenophobic backlash towards foreigners by some Libyans. These men claim they were shot at by loyalists of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. They had the ammunition shells to prove it. These are the machine gun bullets we were hit with. It's a travesty what's being done. Our brothers are dying, and when we try to leave, people run after us and take our money and belongings. They say they were lucky to get out alive, in part thanks to a note of protection from a high-ranking Libyan military officer from Benghazi who joined the revolution. But it wasn't just Egyptians getting out of Libya. A crowd of Sudanese men created a makeshift encampment at the border. This is the second day we've been waiting. If we were Egyptians, we would have entered right away. They were holding our passports until yesterday, waiting to hear from the embassy. Despite being displaced, these Sudanese laborers seemed supportive of events in the region. Protests have taken place in Sudan supporting the Libyans, and may God grant them victory. More than 300 Vietnamese construction workers were heading to Cairo in charter buses after being evacuated. And a group of Filipino laborers who said they'd been trapped at their office compound finally made it to the border as well. Egyptian armed forces assisted with the overflow. They greeted new arrivals, some who'd been traveling for days with little water or food. They also offered those fleeing Libya free bus transport to Cairo, Alexandria, and cities along the way. The only people looking to head in the other direction were foreign reporters and aid workers. A truckload of Egyptian humanitarian supplies waited to cross. The World Health Organization was at the border to offer assistance. WHO officer Ahmed El Ghanani says they're also working on getting needed aid to people on the inside. We are at the two sides of the border to facilitate the passage or the humanitarian corridor, especially for health and medical supplies. As the sun went down, more families continued the exodus. They were running from one country in the midst of a revolution to another that had just achieved its own liberation. But one person at the border was still looking back. Hisham al-Saber is a Libyan police officer and is among the youth of the February 17th revolution. He carried an impassioned message with him meant for Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. What we are telling him is, oh brother, leave. Leave without shedding all this blood. The youth of the February 17th revolution have formed a human wall and created a river of blood that will last until you step down. For Time Video, I'm Jesse Hardman on the Libya-Egypt border.